Earth was hit with the highest energy photons ever recorded August 16, 2019. Gamma rays, which hit over 100 ter electron volts 10 times what the LHC can produce appear to originate from a pulse in the heart of the Crab Nebula. But scientists still do not know exactly what generated them. Earth was hit with the highest energy photons ever recorded. Earth has just been hit by the largest energy photons ever recorded in the Crab Nebula. But scientists don't understand why. Image. NASA slash CXC slash ASU slash J. Hester et al. Astronomers using Tibet's AS Gamma experiment discovered the highest energy light ever measured from an astrophysical source. Photons flowing from the Crab Nebula have recently been measured at energies well above 100 tera electron volts TV. This is a trillion electron volts or about 10 times the maximum energy that the Large Hadron Collider detects when it collides with the particles. Scientists think the key is a heartbeat hidden in the heart of the Crab Nebula, the dense, rapidly spinning nucleus when a star explodes in what is called a supernova nearly a thousand years ago. In fact, since the nebula is located over 6,500 light years away, the explosion occurred about 7,500 years ago. But the light from that explosion did not reach Earth until 1054 AD, when it exploded in our night skies like a new star bright, and was spotted by astronomers around the world. The light of the supernova disappeared after only a few weeks, but since then the debris has grown and spread, and now it shines beautifully in the night sky at almost every wavelength. It emits low-energy radio waves, fires gamma rays and high-energy X-rays and shines at visible wavelengths. But this ultra-high energy light is new even to the Crab Nebula. Record breaker It is difficult for high energy photons, such as gamma rays, to surpass Earth's atmosphere. Instead, when gamma rays enter air particles, they usually spread in a shower of other particles. But astronomers have learned to look for these showers, usually with matrices covering miles, as when these showers hit the ground. They can spread over a large area. The Tibet AS range combines 597 detectors spread across 65,700 square meters on the surface. About 2.5 meters below this matrix are 64 water-filled concrete barrels that serve as complementary detectors. The larger matrix on the floor allows scientists to track the direction and energy of a high-energy event. Water detectors complement these observations by tracking the specific signature of such events. This allows researchers to distinguish gamma rays from high-energy cosmic rays, which can produce similar particle showers, even though cosmic rays are made of particles such as protons and electrons rather than photons. The researchers collected data from both detectors together from February 2014 to May 2017, and found a total of 24 events larger than 100 TV that could track down to the Crab Nebula. Some of the events have reached an incredible 450 TV. Separating gamma ray events from cosmic ray events is not a perfect science, so researchers estimate that five or six of their observations were actually cosmic rays. But the rest must be real, a sign of the powerhouse hiding within the Crab Nebula. Very high energy particles would not be good for humans if they really hit us. But once they fragment into a cascade of other particles, there is no danger of radiation from the Crab Nebula on Earth. It is not entirely clear how the Crab Nebula can carry these gamma rays to these high energies. The pulse in the heart of the nebula spins and sends a powerful stellar wind, and generates powerful magnetic fields that can accelerate these particles at high speeds increasing their energy. It is not known if there is a maximum of energy that scientists can expect. The new observations suggest the next challenge, finding potatron volt gamma rays, those with an energy value of 1000 TV. Tibet AS gamma will keep looking. However, given that it takes a few years to analyze the huge amounts of data the matrix collects, it is possible that such a signal has already been recorded and is simply waiting to be removed from the noise. These high particle radiations are expected to disintegrate into other particles. Otherwise, such an explosion could become fatal to humanity.